Saturday afternoon football. I'm at the Adelaide Oval to watch the Crows and Collingwood. So is Bernard, of course, going to get to him in just a second. And I'm looking into the screens back to South Melbourne. I can see Fats down from Bendigo. We're yes. going to get to that shortly as well. We've got Damo, who's been there working very hard. And we've got oh. Duck, who went to the wrong place. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Do you listen? I, I tell you what, Bill. Do you that, listen? No, I tell you what, this no. is a good lesson for you, Bill. What? Is I'm it? always that early to places. Yeah. I can go to the wrong place and still get here on time. So why do you go to the wrong place because because I did I just there was a little bit of fine print that I did. Oh, so you don't <laughs> listen and you don't read. I was standing around, Bill. I had time to have something to eat, have a little drink, uh, and then stand around and read. then look around and realise no one was there and uh, had time <laughs> to get. But we've out. all got it. When you talk, everyone's got to listen because you got your hands and and everyone's got to listen. Yeah. Then we come up with a good story and you don't listen. Well, it's because it's all about I'm, you, but Bill. I'm Elephant. a good listener. I'm a good listener. <laughs> 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 no, <you're not. laughs> and Bill, he's what? just parked there outside, oh, right in the loading zone. So no, good luck with that later on. He's Duck. actually on the road, Moray Street, on the road. <laughs> well, and I think he's got a couple of kids in the back. I'll tell you what, uh, what about uh, pole position down oh, there? I know. I? Yeah. But you'll get a ticket. Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait till the ticket goes on there. Jason um, Johannesson, Nuff Nuff Quiz. Why are you calling him Elephant, by the way? Well, last week, of course, there was an elephant. There's in the a room. couple in the room. Well, there was three last weeks week. ago, Bill. And we were a bit worried, weren't we, Damo? Because Very worried. Duck doesn't like talking about when he had a bit of bark off his nose. We thought he got belted. But no, of, no, 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 no. <laughs> a, a bit of makeup. Muhammad Ali. A bit of makeup, Bill, to if cover I'd, the. If I'd, uh, the and, uh, Bill, for yeah. one, uh, I would never find myself in that situation. And oh, for two, you would why, why would I. How could I possibly get away with I heard if Johnny. I was in some sort of altercation? How would I get away with that? Johnny Mac uh, builded you, but anyway. Um, so <laughs> oh, you, right. you last week you had, a bit of, <laughs> you had a bit of bark off your nose, yeah. but this week, and it's a bit hard to tell. You might be able to tell us more, Jim, because I'm looking in the Zoom here, yeah. and I'm looking at Bernie Vince, <laughs> old Nuff Nuff, and he's got a white bit of tape right yeah. on his forehead, <laughs> yes. right smack bang in the middle. And it's another elephant in the room. We shouldn't talk about it, but we must off we the to, top. Bill. What's going on there, Burn? No, I don't want to talk about it, Bill. Oh. <laughs> I told you. I'm doing a duck. That's, uh, no no well, comment. Well, it looks happened? like you've actually got some stitches. Yes. Uh, no, I've, three I've butterfly clips. got some yeah. little <laughs> butterfly clips along there. I walked into... Does anyone know go. what an Here awning is? Oh, yeah. yeah, it's oh, a blind. Oh, blind. Oh, blind. It's not that old oh, chestnut. Oh, <laughs> shut up, duck. Oh. You told me to say an awning. I believe that, duck. That old chestnut. That's what you say. Oh, what about that? Oh, blind. As if we're going to believe that. So when you're blind, you walk into an awning. Yeah. <laughs> oh, listen to Bill. Oh, bang, 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 bang. Away. Oh, away. You that one back from Bendigo, did you? Oh, <laughs> oh Bendigo. Wow, we. So, so the shock so, of my life. So we, dark, was it yeah. two and three in the morning or were you getting home yeah. late? Nah, or what? Did nah, you go nah, into nah, the nah. cupboard for was, a wee like yeah. you normally do? <laughs> <laughs> Haven't done that for a while, actually. Uh, but no, it was about maybe about ten thirty. Went around the corner in the dark. What were you doing geez, at ten thirty around going the corner? For a, going for a wee duck in yeah. the backyard. I should have probably gone to the toilet. But <laughs> anyway, what you were in the backyard? Because that's normal uh, behaviour. Well, that's Adelaide. Yeah, well, that's Adelaide. That's All Adelaide people. <laughs> it, was Melbourne. Melbourne. it was in Melbourne. It was in Melbourne at my mate's house. What a, few about things, where... a few things aren't adding up here. No, no, yeah. no, what about where Duck's mind goes? <laughs> yeah. uh, immediately to 2.30 in the morning. Yeah. So Duck, not everyone operates the same way you do. <laughs> no uh, one does, Duck. I don't. I don't <laughs> anymore. So, um, oh, yeah, anymore. Outside having a wee. Anymore. Just things. You know what? It just looks too clean to be an awning. Oh. Just too. Oh, oh, what, what do you want it to be a bit rougher? <laughs> well, I just reckon there'd be more scratches, I reckon, oh. if you hit an awning. Nah, nah. Yeah, it's it fair into the side of it. And yeah. I don't know who has an awning anymore anyway. But it's right but in the middle. It's, it's, yeah. It couldn't have placed it's, it better. Yeah, it, well, it adds had, a bit of character to my face, Bill. Had right. you had it a couple been dribbling off your nose too, wouldn't it? The, the, the claret. <laughs> oh, I didn't actually realise the oh, severity hell. of it until I walked back inside, and you couldn't see my face. Well, it's bleeding. <laughs> okay. Jesus. Well, uh, if he didn't know he, no. that it happened, he's obviously had a fair. You know <laughs> exactly. And you know <laughs> what? You would happen, duck. You know what? It happened. He needs you know the duck. severity he, of it. He needs you, Botox now, duck, so you might listen. be able to help him out. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So what do you do with scars like that, duck? What did you do three weeks ago? How did you make up? Make up and make up. Just, you did use my. You know what? I actually what? just fainted. Oh, you fainted? I I, no, I what? fell over. I told you I fell over. You That's fainted. I did. 
Oh, he didn't worry. say that last no, week. He you showed you that again. Yeah, you walked into a Walter. There is holes in this I story. I didn't faint. You've already changed his story a third time. Yeah, he's changed it. Well, now, he didn't over. faint. I fell over and was... <laughs> you got home at 2.30 and, was... and fainted. <laughs> Hang on, no, what else? What are you doing? Anyway, by, by the way, this is an old story. <laughs> yeah, no, you've but got a we're finding new information. New detail. We're going to court again on this one. We've got new evidence. We didn't hear fainting last no. week. No. I, I, no. I mean, you just heard of falling over. Now it's a lot of I, walking into a wall. I said I, I fell over. I never said I walked into a wall. In actual fact, I don't even think I said what, ha- what had happened. I'm now opening up because <laughs> I, think Bernie, I think Bernie needs to come clean about what time <laughs> he received this cut on his head. Was it the uh, heat or? Hey? Heat or had an aided lot? I think they, the air conditioner up was up too high and I just got a bit hot. Which room? Hey. No, just a room. <laughs> what, what are you reading into all this, Jim? <laughs> Two keys. What, what, are you, what are you hearing here? I, I'm hearing that neither story is that <laughs> neat. Neither of them are close to what actually happened. Now, uh, Fat, you've yeah. been up to Bendigo. Oh, beautiful Now, the, the, the Saturday rub team, including the people you're on air with, uh, haven't caught up with the fact that while you're up there in the breakfast radio studio, <laughs> you decided on your own phone... <laughs> Off air, so this is not for on air content. It only happened on air because we recorded on it. Personal. Decided to Pers- ring a bloke called Glenn Doodlehead. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did. Well, because I was up there in Bendigo and I took over the studio. It's only a little studio up there, nothing like the magnificent studios we've got here. These are beautiful, aren't they? But I'm sitting in Rosemary's spot. So I've got the whole desk and the, the button. At the panel. At the panel, mm. that's right. Yes. Mm. And I'm there and. I look across and there's these names there, the uh, Triple M girls' names and Triple M boys' names, and the top of the boys' names is Glenn Doodlehead. <laughs> and I go, no, 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 there's Roscoe and there's Rocky and there's everyone else. And I go, Shh, his name cannot be Glenn Doodlehead. <laughs> it's not Bill. And so it's you rang a, it. And it got a mobile next to it, so I thought, i just got to see if it is Glenn Doodlehead. Do we want to hear the phone call, James? Yes, that's oh, right. Yeah, yeah, no, we got it. We got it. Roscoe, Rocky, Tommy, Jimmy Boy, Brad. And Glenn Doodlehead. <laughs> Come on, Glenn, where are you? Oh, I'm ringing him. Oh, it doesn't even say their name. Come on, Bill. 10 seconds message after the time, <laughs> and we'll send a message I'm in the breathing. Team. Glenn Doodlehead. Billy Brown was here. I'm in a triple M. I just wanted to come around and say hi to Glenn. Doodlehead. Oh, bring me back. <laughs> no. And guess what? He <laughs> rang me back. <laughs> and his name's not Doodlehead. Oh, really? <laughs> no. And I've since found out that he might um, be part of a... Uh, the Constabulary? Yeah, that's yeah. the word. Uh, yeah, so we might just stop calling him Glenn Doodlehead, Jim. <laughs> Bill. <laughs> Bill, he explained to you that he's called that because he's bald and his head looks like a penis. Looks like a doodle. (laughs) (laughs) That's where it comes from. It should be Bill Doodlehead. Well, how would I? Oh, elephant. (laughs) 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 Uh, Shut up, Dumbo. Um, But his name's not Doodlehead, so put that to rest. But I went to Benny go, what a spot that is. Beautiful up there in the country. I'm a country boy. You're a country boy. Bernie's a country boy. City slickers like Jim and Damo. I've got no idea. <laughs> like the country does for the city. I love it. And country. it's all about the wool up there. Yes. And I went to the women's wool luncheon. 320 of them. You reckon you go all right? Well, well, you life. should have seen oh, Anthony <laughs> Williams in there, <laughs> Damo. Um, <laughs> duck. Wow, the, we. They the were coming lunch. from everywhere. Uh, <laughs> you, know was, little, uh, you know what he was positioned as? What was he? They had the, the woman who was the legend of wool. Yes. So she spoke. Yep. Amy something, whatever her yes. name is. And then underneath, it, this is the billing, underneath was the most travelled woman in Australia. Yes. Katrina Roundtree. Yeah. Who was very and good. at the bottom, it was Funny Man Bill. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what he Funny was Funny bit. <laughs> Come on. I went with me um, circumcision joke yeah. off the top. And, yeah. oh, oh, did you? Yep. A at a flat. women's lunch. <laughs> yep. A women's <laughs> lunch. You went with that. I don't well, want to know how that one goes, Bill. That's a, that's a good one. How's it go, Bill? Well, I no, said no, I'm a country ask. boy. <laughs> I was born in Urana, a little country town. Circumcised as a baby, shit, that must have hurt. I couldn't walk for a year, and you can't anyway. Oh, and, and, <laughs> oh, he, he's had to explain <laughs> it. He's, he's explained it anyway. So he's gone with that off the top. And <laughs> my understanding, because yeah. I had a person in the oh, room, Jim my Adam understanding, <laughs> it was spin effects, yeah. <laughs> just Tumble tumbling weeds. through oh. the anyway, venue. I he was a person out. in the room, Jim. Was it oh, a, a wool buyer? Oh, no, 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 what it was was a very close associate of, of the show, as Hose knows. 
had a good friend of hers in the room. Oh, yes. So we were able to hear yes. how Bill went through this lovely anyway, lady. So I end up uh, getting questions from the crowd because I wasn't sure if you were Mike jokes or stories, good <laughs> how they go. So we, we did the questions and anyway, it all went beautifully. Couldn't The MC did come it? up a bit early and said, right, I hope <laughs> <laughs> Wrapped you up. She <laughs> wrapped me up. She wrapped me up. But I, went, I want to tell you this because I, I was telling Jim this yesterday. You got the shepherd's hook. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll save you, Lambsy. <laughs> Very good. So I went out and had a look at the Rams. Now, how long oh, since you've oh. had a good look at a Ram? Oh, I know what he's going to come up with. Have a listen to this. I haven't Ram. seen a ram for a long time, Bill. They've Last got week, the Bill. biggest ball. Like, mate, I've got no idea oh, how big. Bill. Have Bill. you seen them? How, they, and how they can't walk because they. I've never seen a well, ram. A, a good look at a ram. If you would have, Bernie, wouldn't you? Yeah. The they get a bit of gravel. On. They get gravel rash sometimes. Mate, what? They can't walk yeah. because they they're drag that along big. the ground. And a good ram. They, they were the best looking rams I've ever seen. What but breed, wow. Bill? Well, bought a Leicester. Oh, nice. Big nose on them. Yeah, big nose. They've got <laughs> yeah. the big nose. And there oh, was yeah. also Which a couple other ones? of... Which other ones? A couple of uh, Pole Dorsets. Pole Dorset. Yeah. yeah. They're nice ram. But the Merinos yeah. are still the number one. Don't worry about yeah. that. Everyone loves the Merino. Oh, so my there's God. There's 30,000 people. <laughs> See, he had, see him had it written down. He had to go oh, back yeah. to his notes no, and I read it. <laughs> 30,000 people go to the Wool Show in Bendigo. And then there's Elvis up there. And they've got an Elvis. Just, just um, moved there, hasn't he? No, well, he, I think he does. I don't think it's him, Duck. But, um, <laughs> they've got his car. Oh, really? His, his clothes really? and things. Oh. His museum. But it's all happening in Bendigo, so do yourself a favour and get up to Jim, Bendigo. Jim, I think you should do what that lady did at the luncheon. Yeah. Just him. Him. Hook, hook him. him. <laughs> hook him. <laughs> get yeah, rid of he's him. He's got minutes left. I'll wrap him up. Speaking of Duck, you at the Pran Hotel Wednesday night. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <what a question. laughs> I, That's a actually, yes. No, I actually had dinner and watched the rugby somewhere, Bill, but you don't. Why? Well, you like to get that. away around to your local pubs. And you're there with your mates, and Johnny Mack was there. Entourage again, was it? Was Bill? he there? Potsy? Was, at, at, I hadn't seen him for a long time. Potsy, no, yes or no, we'll do that. Yes, yeah. he was there. So he Johnny Mack that. started telling everyone how, on the table how good he was in an early pick for North Melbourne. And oh, yeah. It's kind of a <laughs> Same old story. <laughs> Same old story. Yeah. And Duck goes. Johnny, I played on you in a practice game and kicked seven on you to half time. <laughs> then they moved me to centre half back and I kicked another four. <laughs> <laughs> and Duck's telling this story. Johnny's trying to pump himself up. And Duck's telling this story. How'd you know? Who have you been talking Oh, I just to got people, people everywhere. Solly, yeah. have, yeah. Yeah. Solly there? No, no. Uh, Is that no, true? Solly wasn't there. Is that true? Uh, uh, Butsy was there. Butsy. No, Butsy. <laughs> Jim? Knuckle Shoal, yes. Um, you, you've had a travel day today. Um, often we get oh, to hear yes. how well it went for you. How, how was it today? 70 minute delay. A touch late. <laughs> no. <laughs> a touch Se late. 70 minutes. Only yeah. seven. That's good. No, it was 70. So, uh, yeah, we had to uh, sitting on the tarmac. But I did walk Will <laughs> Ralston, our very, very accomplished producer, into this magnificent venue and gave him the full oh. tour. Oh. The walk of fame. <laughs> Shut him I down. Said, Just have Stop. a look around, Will. Gotta go to a break. It Rose, won't break. take you long. Break. 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 Go, Rose. Let's <laughs> go. JJ Johannes. Going to join us shortly. Sunday, Rob. Nuff, Listen. nuff. We got the quiz. Uh, maybe, yeah. maybe. Oh, I'm having all a spell. Of that. Still to come. Hard yak, a new breed of Aussie legends. Toughness is in their DNA. No shortcuts. They make it tough. They make it look good for hard yakker, for McDonald's and Remot Water. Triple M rocks the Saturday, Rob. Uh, Saturday afternoon, we're assembled here at the Adelaide Oval. Well, Bernard and I are, of course. Uh, mm. Bill's there, Duck's there, Damo's there, Rosie doing a magnificent job of corralling. Duck. Those three over there, and uh, we've got, as I say, enough, enough still on the way. Quiz, maybe. Yes. We're not uh, really sure, not sure but uh, we've got maybe. a... Well, there's a big presence yeah. here in Adelaide. There's not many people that Duck's no. intimidated by. No, no. <laughs> but this particular... Glenn this particular Glenn he, And he said to me as I walked in... Oh, no. There he oh, goes. There he oh, is. Watch oh, oh, out. Oh, oh, Who's that old bloke? Watch out. The Duck great Mark Rusciuto. <laughs> oh, 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 there he is. <laughs> Ducko, what's happening? You the, lost the, your edge, have you? The, the, uh, the, the man that I won a Brownlow for. Oh. <laughs> and comes second the next when year. When I got to the that. club, I was there for two years. He wins it and comes runner up a year after. Everyone knows about that sort of stuff, Doug. What we don't know is... <laughs> yeah. You've lost your edge. Who's, what happened? What, what I've heard mean? about three different stories. Oh, you yeah. had another one today. Oh, yeah, what well, you fainted. He fainted, fainted <laughs> today. Oh, I heard that one. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay. I, the only, I the only time you'd phone is if your brother come down from Wagga. <laughs> 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 hey, that's hey, that's true. And so would you too. <laughs> I, I actually, hey, Mick, you know so what? Mick I, I slipped. 
Oh, what did you, 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 you didn't have one drink too many, did you? Oh, one. You know me, but what Rupert. time, Duck? Rupert, I know, I know you. Know you. That's what I'm worried about. You know me, Rupert. What happened? Yeah, he does know you. That's, yeah. his, that's the reason. He's, <laughs> he's saying he's Duck. No, I just had. A, I just tripped on a on a stool. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> It's his fourth story now. <laughs> it was a step, a well, stall. What, he I, fainted today, I, bro. I, I think I might have fainted, tripped and slipped. Oh. 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 Now the he's trifecta. combining them. Okay. Combining them all. Yes. Duck, honesty is the best policy, yes, mate. Okay. You know that. If you talk around and you try and make up excuses, <laughs> hey. you'll get found out well, in the long run. Hey, and hey, that what? sounds like what's going to happen well, what, what happens if? What happens if you don't remember? <laughs> He fainted. Remember, oh, he fainted. That's, that's, then, then, that's simple as that. Just say that. I don't, actually don't remember what happened. And everyone would go, well, I tell you I what. Believe you don't. <laughs> I tell you what, we can understand Rue. Normally it's, hey, I'm down here. <laughs> hey, 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 Pull that line and kick the dollar goal. Hey, go, Rue. Hey, no. hey, Bill. What's wrong with you on the boundary? You can't talk. Bill. Actually, you can't talk. <laughs> Bill, this is about duck, not about. No. Me. <laughs> I'm saying. Hey, 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 what else he got? Bill, about, what about? What about? Yeah. Hey, Rude, tell me yeah. this. Tell, please yeah. tell me. I mean, most people yeah. know. You know, you get a cat or a dog or <laughs> even a little oh, guinea no. pig. Yes. Or, yes. You, yep, you know, you, he's got a big property and he's got lots of little oh. animals, but. Who puts yabbies in their house? <laughs> no. Inside. You eat them. As a feature. No. As a feature. What, in a, in a, in a fish in tank? A, in, a, in, a, in a massive fish tank built right the wall. Right next to a Murray Cod. He's got, <laughs> right, right next to a cow. He's got that? yabbies in, in his fish tank. They stink. Hey, yabbies if you stink. <laughs> and they crawl out. If you, <laughs> they crawl out. Come on. If you want to learn how to catch a yabby or catch a cod, you've got to watch them and learn <laughs> in their own habitat. David Attenborough. Now, now, I'm a Please I'm Hunter and gather them. Please tell everyone you haven't got a fish tank at home full of yabbies. Well, I haven't at the moment. In my old house, I did. <laughs> I'm, about to do a, I'm about to do a renovation and put a bigger fish tank in the new one. How many kids you got? You had seven last uh, count. How many have we got in a minute? Six a couple of weeks ago. <laughs> so, uh, the school holidays has been pretty hard. I'm Every not time sure I, where they are. I, I, used, I used to go to Adelaide and there'd be another baby's head getting wet. Yeah. <laughs> We're on the piss for seven <laughs> years. Duck, Duck might have had an influence on my footy career, but he taught me how to breed as well. So, yeah, well done, Duck. Uh, Before we let you go, because I know you've got a lot of work to do oh, for uh, yes, Fox, very Fox hard. <laughs> we are these boys are going in, but Ard and I are going to be calling the game of football. Yeah. And I'm going to be calling next to Chris Ditton. <laughs> and this box, this box isn't very wide and his ass is enormously yeah. wide. And we've got Rocky as Put well it. to fit in. <laughs> How are we doing this? Jesus, I'm well, out. I'm not joking. The first day I ever did uh, a footy commentary with Ditts, I thought, God, he's done no research. Yeah. He does. No, he had no papers or whatever and he just nailed it. Yep. But he's just been forgetting a few things lately. Yeah. And, you know, getting here a bit late. But this morning I saw my phone rings and it's Chris Dittman. I yeah. thought, what's Ditts doing? Has he got a tip on the horses or something like selling that? A anyway, <laughs> selling a poker machine. He's selling a pokey. Or Aristocrat. Doing something. Anyway, he's rang me up and goes, Ash Johnson. Is he the brother of Shane McAdam? How does that work? <laughs> He's actually doing some research. <laughs> He's doing research for today's show. What? So I think he wants to sort of step it up on the national oh. broadcast <laughs> for a long time. So when he gets here, don't be surprised if there's a note in front of him, all right? So uh, yeah, look after the old fella. He's, oh, I uh, like this. All right. Are yeah. you happy with Duck and now? Are you are worried about him? Well... If, is this the truth, Duck, or not? Just well, You can't lie to your old no, mate. Well, okay. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> <laughs> we got there. That's good. That's true. That's good. Hey, Duck. actually, well, right. Look after yourself. Duck. Neither can You're I. True, <laughs> 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 we can't see uh, uh, Rupert over there. Is he still bald, got the goatee and the mullet, and just looks like every other Adelaide bogan? <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Bill, Bill, you tell that joke as much as you tell your rubber band jokes at sports. <laughs> <Yeah, exactly. laughs> All right. See you, guys. Hey, Rupert. See you. By the way, drop Mike. He's gone. Oh, gone. He's just gone. He's out. Eight, time, eight time all Australian. Yeah, yeah, but let let's clarify that now that he's not oh, here. Yeah. Now that he's not hey, here. He's still here. Okay. Time. Uh, uh, four of those were on the bench. So oh, I, oh, I, oh, I, four on the bench. I don't reckon that they should all count. <laughs> mm. Fair enough. Well, mine, they don't count. Mine, mine were all sent out forward, Bill. Actually, Seven at sent out forward. Why? He had four on the bench. I think one might have been half forward flank or something yeah, like that. Nah, Ford, oh, that doesn't actually, count, does no, it? No, no. Nah. On the bench the counts. Unless you said half forward, they only count. Well, well, no, on the bench counts I reckon my one and only. Four on the bench. 20th. <laughs> the four on the bench should add up, add up as one, probably. Craig Turley. <laughs> Me and Craig Turley on the bench. How good was that? Boys are watching the races here. Hey, um, <laughs>
<laughs> we are we're about to watch Collingwood here, Damo. Tell us about Taranto, whose name oh. con- continually gets linked with this famous club. Just doesn't go away, Jim. Um, he's got uh, many options as to as to what he wants to do, and one of them is obviously to stay at GWS. But when you get to round uh, seventeen, round eighteen, time of a season, you're out of contract. We usually know what happens thereafter. But look, well, I just keep hearing that it is Collingwood that's that's leading the way for him, at least by way of his options in in Victoria, and that um, if that is to happen. They're going to have to make some uh, room on their own uh, salary cap given the problems they've had in that space uh, already with moving people out like Stevenson and Trelaw and also Phillips. So the Grundy situation, Jim, comes into play again. And, and while the holding pattern on that one is that he's contracted for a long time beyond this season, Grundy, um, there, there will be the conversation. Well, the conversations are already being had and they'll be had again when it becomes official, Duck. And, and it won't be for GWS the way I read it. It would be for Grundy to go back to South Australia to one of the um, Adelaide wow. clubs. And that would be a mechanism mm. potentially to, to help the Toronto movement. The Goey as well? The Goey would be another movement of, of salary, yeah, yeah, of that. So, But it, it just doesn't go away this Taranto talk. I mean, he's had a, he's had a, a good career at the GWS team, um, wanted by people he in can't, Victoria. He can't get himself into that midfield yeah. permanently, can he? And that's where I think is part of these conversations yeah. being had, that I think the promises of the Cubs uh, suiting um, for him um, are saying, well, yeah, we'll make you what you want to be, a midfielder. How have the Kangaroos come out of this week after moving the coach on Tuesday? I think they've come out of pretty well once they made the decision, Jim. I mean, I, I, we've discussed this uh, for two or three weeks now with, with Jeff Walsh being required to come back in as a consultant to tell them what they needed to do. I mean, that that's what we've been discussing in the past. But once they get to the decision, I, I think they handled the moment as, as well as you could have. There's never clean way to do it, is it, when you've got the, the person just being sacked uh, alongside the two yeah. people who are... Yeah, it was crucial to that decision making. But I think when they all package it up, I thought the way Sonia Hood handled the the press conference or the media conference part of it more so than the the presentation of the club messaging in the in the email. I, th- I think she handled it really well, and it's game on now. Given there's now two vacancies of two clubs who who are officially in the market for a new coach. Yeah, look, I, everything that I'm hearing out of the club, JB, and I know that uh, you've spoken to a few people as well, but it it sounds to me that. Uh, uh, it's quite harmonious. I think they've, you know, yep. people are talking, which is great because the one thing that you don't want is you don't want uh, infighting, especially given the importance of decisions that have to be made in the very, very near future. Right. No, I agree with that. I think Sonny's handled it very well and it's now up to the club to make some really good decisions going forward. I think it's well documented oh, that they've made some pretty ordinary That'd be decisions. nice. But some good ones going forward would help. Uh, the Rebel Group, are we talking about that or is that... You know, we've, we've been talking about it all week, Bill. It's uh, Mark Dawson, who is a, is a famous administrator at North Melbourne, yeah. um, was, was crucial to a lot of the on-field goings-on in the in the successful 1990s period. Yes. And he ha- has a, a desire to get back on the board himself alongside Francis Trainer, Kerry Good's another name. And, and the way I've had it put to me, Duck, and I know you're probably privy to the same conversations, um, maybe even of a, of a more heightened nature, given I believe um, some of these people want you to be involved. I mean, you can have your say on that. But Ooh. whether it happens or not, Bill, it, it's it's unlikely for an outside group to demand such presence on the board. What do they want? They want four seats on the board, the four way I've had it told to me. Now, there's ways about going about that. And, and to Duck's point, I, I'm also hearing too that they, they don't necessarily want to rock the boat in an extraordinary AGM Good. sense. Well, that'd, but, that'd make sense. But there would be options for them in the, in the general meeting sense where they can all nominate and whether that happens I, I don't claim to know but North's uh, I think meetings Jim are normally held uh, in January or February of, yep. of a year so there's a bit of runway between between now and then for them to get the right decision with the mm-hmm. coach and that's the more important part isn't it um, Sonia Hood now has, has publicly said that she will seek to, to speak with um, Alastair Clarkson and, and whether that's an all in approach that, that's yet to play out uh, Don Pike is one I, I think they really should have a, have a look at you're big on Ross Lyon Duck and I just don't um, believe there's, there's not still some life in the Adam Simpson possibilities despite what he's saying. I've got a contract for two more years, 2023 and 2024. I reckon that's game on. He said don't ring. He just said don't ring me. Yeah, he can say that while he's still coaching in this particular year. But if if, if they ring him and offer him a job, there's a different conversation to be had. And and they may well want to do that. And and, and I believe it's still Have you been asked, Duck, to be part of this rebel group? Bill, there's no rebel group. You, you heard what I just said before. What I'm hearing oh, is it's geez. all harmonious. And there, there's, there's you didn't good say that. Yes. I did. Said that. There's good conversations being had. But no, that wasn't about, the question. About people. There's no rebel group. There's good conversations being had. Have you been, been asked to be people, part of I, this other and group? And I just said no, Bill. So did you hear me? What did you say? I said no, Bill. <laughs> no, I don't think you did. 
Oh. To start with. <laughs> um, you were talking around it as a bit of spin. So my, yeah. You're putting a bit of spin on it, Doug. My, the old leggy. My, my information, as yeah, I said, right. that the, the conversations Don't being had about like everyone, that, that's, yeah, yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. that is involved that love the footy club, <laughs> including guys like JB, who's a former president, who love the footy club, yeah, that, that, just want, that just want things uh, to, uh, to no, go right from do. this point that's on. That's a beautiful answer. Okay, thank Have you. you been asked to be part? <laughs> How many times can I say? I think he I has. Can only Bill. Imagine yeah. being My mail is dad. he has, but he's too smart yeah. to get involved. No. Uh, Jim, hey, he's too Jim, smart to get involved. Uh, Jim, Domo. have you been asked, Jim? No, uh, no, I haven't. Damo, okay. oh, hang on, ask, I, now ask Jim again, Bill. What I will say <laughs> no, is, I believe Jim. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, shut up for a minute, Damo. It is brutally important right now that none of that rubbish surfaces. Now is the time that the club's got to unite and got to get its act together. And things like runs at the board and board disharmony is a horrific thing to happen at any time. But certainly now is not the time for that. So I'm glad to hear what Duck's saying because uh, that is not what the club needs right now. Yeah, uh, everyone hopefully has the right to, to nominate under the uh, under oh, the absolutely. under the, yeah, the, the normal thing. ways, and, and that that I think should happen because I don't think there has yep. been enough change, not just at North Melbourne, but football club boards. Full stop. Carlton Geelong is uh, the game of the round. Yeah, it's massive, isn't it? And there's going to be so much to look forward to when they run out tonight at the, the MCG. But in, importantly for Carlton, regardless of results, um, they've got a couple of big names coming back who have now got enough runway, Bill, to, to, to get themselves ready. Mitch McGovern I'm referring to, Mark Pittenett. Well, so the, six more home and away games. Six more so home and away, perfect, yeah. So they're, they're returning this week after long absences, and, and they are really long absences for both players um, this weekend on the, in the VFL. So... Two matches, I'd, I'd say, is an absolute minimum. Maybe three, maybe four, but there's options. And they, as well as De Koning's going in the ruck for Carlton, there is a belief that Pitnett, if he can get himself right, will come straight back in. That That's the, the view of some people. And we know that their, their back line has, has toiled really, really well in, in the absence of, of, of a, a lot of good players. But McGovern, if he's right to go, will help that dynamic too, Boone. Uh, right. As we get to the break, uh, we've got to get to Timsey shortly. Uh, good luck to Michael Hurley too. Yes. yes. Yeah. Playing VFL and any Anyone that's had a years. hip operation, I can't believe he's playing. And hip infection. I, well, and, I can't yeah. believe that. So good luck to him. Also to Tom Hawkins, who had a baby boy oh, yeah. during the week. I've spoken to Tom, Jim. It's yeah. all good. Did you go early with that? No, no, no. Announced, no. So, Bill announced no. it on air. I think he announced no. it as it was happening. So oh. Emma and Tom have had so, a baby boy, all, Henry. All the, Henry Hawkins. So good luck. Gun, all the gun Geelong players have, have all had boys. Yeah, awesome. Amazing, Green. Max. Yeah. yeah. So <laughs> he, <laughs> no, we, they've tried them. So he hasn't even he hasn't even announced it himself. No. Bill's gone on air. So with the family I, didn't even know. I no, don't no. think Em actually was in hospital. She's just <laughs> on the way. She was on the way there. <laughs> Come on, Henry. Bill. All the best to Henry Hawkins and yes. Tom's ready to go tonight.